All right, are we starting it? Yeah, go on. You go. How are we going to start it? Hello, guys. Welcome back. Go on, crack on. Yeah, we've just started it. <laughs> <laughs> right, what's up, guys? Welcome back. Something slightly different for you guys as the winners here. Long drive season's over, James. Bit shit, isn't it? Yes. It's not shit, yeah. but... Are we, are we swearing uh, this week? I'm, I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, do what you want, mate. Don't bother me. Like, uh, get monetized, get monetized. If it doesn't, it's a shit. To, to be fair, it's, uh, it, it's shit for you because you didn't go to Worlds. So I had a month after our last event to prep for Worlds, and then I went to Worlds. So I basically had two months more competition, if you think of it like that. Yeah. So I've had a longer... I was in season a lot longer than you were, so... Actually, next year, this, this, when the season starts, doesn't feel as long for me than, than it probably does for you. Yeah. So, because long drive season's over, where there's crap outside, we thought we'd start something a bit different and do a bit of like a long drive podcast where we talk to you about long drive golf, different things. We've got plenty of stories we can talk about on here, which you guys will probably laugh about. And then we'll add in a couple of different guys every other week when we do this as well, just to spice it up a little bit. So, firstly, we need a name for this podcast. So, Whenever you've watched this, let us know what you think. Have you got any names in mind that you think of, James? Uh, not that means... appropriate, no. Uh, no we'll, we'll think of that. We'll think of something. Think of that. That. Whoever says the best one, we'll, uh, we'll go with that as well, yeah. <coughs> yeah. We'll be lucky to get even one comment on this, so. You never know. You never know. They might like it, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Just before we get into asking different things, I'll ask James a few things. He can ask me a few things. James just asked me a minute ago, what are them trophies up there? So my reply was when I kick his ass, and I'm looking behind you now, James, and you've got toilet roll on the top of your fucking shelf there. <laughs> so There's that, a load of books, which they mine. definitely are not mine. And there's, uh, yeah, this is, this is like a storage room. Yeah. No, it's just, just use them to wipe your tears away after I smoked you all year. Yeah. Well, not I've got, last year. I've got some trophies. Yeah, how'd you do this year? Uh, exactly. just, just as good as you, mate. <laughs> Shite. Yeah. yeah no, so, no. anyway, um, how was Worlds? We'll start off. James, you went to Worlds. How was that? Worlds. I didn't go. Worlds. Yeah. Worlds is good. was good. Tricky. I wouldn't say... I expected it to have been a humbling experience. It, I yeah. would say I, I learned a lot, but it wasn't a humbling experience. Okay. Um, I well, realised so like, that all... You feel like you were there to compete, not like just there as a number type of thing. You need to be fast. Um, you don't need to be any faster than you do in Europe. There's just a lot of, you know, bar a couple of guys, which you already know. I don't need to say any names. You yeah. know the guys who, who stand out that they're freakishly fast. But other than that, everyone's quite closely grouped together. They're not really much quicker or slow. You know, we're all about the same in the same ballpark. So you need, you need to be around 220 to be going there. If you're going at 205, 210, you, you'll be lucky to get through the first day. Yeah. You know, ball strike will only get you so far. When you start going in head to heads against guys that, you know, you could have, was it, I can't remember that, four, four guys on a, on a tee at one time, right? Four guys, I should yeah. know this. I've just done it. Yeah. So four of us. I mean, you could be going against, all you know, three guys that are all two twenty. All it takes for them to hit one ball, you know, even if they're miss hitting at two fifteen, yeah, it's, it's still going a fair old way up there. You you can't be relying on two oh five ball speed and perfect no. strikes. It'll only get you so far. So you need yeah. some speed. Yeah, but you need speed. Often, we, we always talk about this. We talk about it pretty much all almost every day. Pretty much about speeds and stuff. But if you're not two fifteen, you're not even going to do well in Europe, really, are you? Let alone going to America no. and spending all that money. So. That's no, a, it's too a many, little thing to, too many good guys. Yeah, it's like a little heads up for guys that are wanting to get into long drive and want to compete. Obviously, we want as many people as possible coming to these events and growing the sport. But realistically, if you ain't 210, it's going to be a struggle, isn't it? Especially now because everyone's getting faster. There's more quality guys. Like 200, yeah. anything, I feel like anything under 210 should be in the amateurs, to be fair, if you want yeah. to like, do well. two And 210 is... You know, fast. nothing to be embarrassed of. That oh. is fast. Like yeah, yeah. when I hit for when I hit two ten for the first time, like I was, I was, you know, I was happy. Yeah. But yeah. as soon as you hit two ten, you want two twenty, and now I'm yeah. at two twenty, and I want to get, you know, well, that, actually, that was going to be my next thing. So now you went two ten, and recently you can actually say when you're in a group of us that you're not the only guy that can't go two twenty no more. So how was that? 
How long? It's actually not that many. Out? Let's just put it this way: so you were at two nineteen for like what eighteen months, <clears throat> nearly. Yeah. And it yeah. took you eighteen um, months to get that one mile an hour more to go to two twenty. Yeah, and the thing is with me, like you already know, um, and if you look back on my page, like it was never the you know because. There's always like a, a debate about club speed and ball speed and club speed doesn't matter. But club speed is always going to be your potential. If you don't have the, let's say you max out at 140, it's, it, it is an actual fact you will never hit 220. You have yeah. to get your club speed up to nearer 150. That was never my problem. I could always swing it around 150. I was just never, I was actually hitting the middle, but it was the way I was coming into into the back of the ball with my yeah. hands you can see like like it, that, yeah. yeah, rather than that, yeah. Um, which why I, I just had no, yeah, no compression, high, spinny, but I hit some really good shots like that, and I I won an event like that, and I've I've had some really good finishes purely yeah. just with that swing. Um, but compression wise, it was terrible, and I tr I tweaked one thing. Uh, well, I was telling you about the other day, like trying to keep this arm just from you know stop it from getting too narrow. And, you know, collapsing almost and overnight I don't want to give too much away by the way but uh, <laughs> if you want to overnight if you want to all the tips subscribe to James Balls and then long drive and I'll give you $20 a month <laughs> <laughs> overnight literally I think it was actually the next day I went 220 and the yeah. weird thing was I went 220 in the freezing cold after like 10 or 12 balls that there was there was no reason why I should have went to twenty. It was just something just clicked, and then after that, I've gone to twenty every time. It, it was probably because you weren't expecting it, so your body just like yeah allowed you to do it. Because it is crazy <laughs> yeah. fast, isn't it? Two twenty is crazy quick. People don't realize this. Everyone's two twenty on Instagram now, but when it actually comes to events and you see people's real numbers, and you realize who's two twenty and who isn't, basically. So yeah. yeah. So what's the next goal? You've gone two ten about three years ago. <laughs> And then you've gone 220 eventually. What's the next goal? 225? 220, yeah, 225. Isn't it? So it's I, I don't think... What, what is 225 with a good strike? What, 150? 150. 150, 150 yeah. yeah. Let's say 151, 152, yeah. Yeah, centre point so 50 is 225, so who knows? Yeah, who knows it's within reach, so I don't know. Let's get them chicken arms a bit bigger for that first, mate, Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so what's happening? Are you, what are you doing over the winter? Are you still training? Doing what? What's the plan? I am having a big push now for speed, as you yeah. can see. Uh, on a weekly basis, at least once or twice a week, going for a, a big speed session, um, trying to push my numbers up as much as I can, trying to get to 225. Like naturally, I, I've gone to 20 now. I just want to keep going and see how far I can take it. I don't want to sort of lay off and then come back to it in two months and hope that I'm somewhere near that same speed. Like, I want to keep pushing, yeah, and just yeah. see what's possible. Yeah, what about you? Um, well, I was supposed to see that surgeon last week that got cancelled from the back. I was supposed to be going tomorrow, which obviously this will air a little bit later. That got cancelled two days ago, so I hit some balls yesterday. <coughs> I was actually weren't that bad to be fair. So I'm going to give it a little bit of a push, go to Christmas, get back in the 220s and then see what happens from there, really. Because we have so got... you don't some... know? Nah, it's just waiting waiting game again now to see what happens with the surgeon because apparently he's been away for a couple of weeks. He's not back, so it's a bit of a pain in the ass. But I'll give it a little push for Christmas once I get back in the 220s. Um, you have got something in the pipeline. I don't know if you want to say it on here. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I won't <laughs> say the venue because we're not 100% sure yet, but we got a we got an indoor comp coming up on the 10th of February. Um, hoping to get a, a decent turnout. So, if anyone's watching and they're in that sort of area or don't mind traveling, come down. It'll be a good laugh. Yeah, so and not just a good laugh. Area? You don't need to say the, the venue where is yeah, it. Yeah, up north, is it where? It'll be it'll be south of the M20. It will be somewhere around the M25 area, Londonish okay. areas, something like that, somewhere around London. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's not even just for a good laugh, like just come down. It's it's competitive hitting. Um, we take it seriously. No matter if it's an indoor comp, an outdoor comp, no matter what we're playing and whether people like to admit it or not, you know, I'm pissed off if I lose. I don't care if we're playing <laughs> for nothing. I am yeah. pissed off and so is everyone else because you're wasting yeah. your time, you prep for it. You know, even if it's just a knock around, you, you're still taking it seriously. So come yeah. down, it'll be good. Yeah, so once we get more details of that, we'll obviously let everyone know and then if they want to like, compete or watch, yeah. they obviously can do that. So, yeah. yeah, so that's basically 
what we're, we're going to be doing over the winter is basically prepping for that and hoping that once we get the schedule for next year, plan accordingly and pick and choose the events, isn't it? So, what's your plan for next year? Are you going you going to the states or I know you doing a again. event? I was hoping to have this surgery done by now and then prep for next year, but I'll probably end up this week getting surgery in the middle of the year, so I probably won't do anything. But if I don't get it, I'm probably going to take the start of the season off, prep for the Canada event, and then maybe do one more and then go to Worlds, I think. Do a couple in Europe and stuff. But yeah, He says this and then he'll do everything. It's probably more likely because you'll be the same. Like, you oh, will. This one. And then we'll both book every single event and just <laughs> complain about everything as we do all the time. But we love it. Oh. Can't, we can't help it. We love it. We do, yeah. mate. Yeah, right. It's I've good. got a couple of questions. We put up, um, a little, I put up a little box on Instagram the other day asking a few questions for the podcast and stuff that we were going to do. Uh, next time, obviously, before we film this, we'll both do it so we get quite a few different questions and we'll burst through a few. So if you guys want your questions answered, put them in the comments after this video for the next one. And then obviously we'll do the same thing on Instagram as well. So your Instagram's James Brosnan Long Drive. Yeah. And then mine's just by Rolton Swiss LD. So first question I'm gonna go with is last minute tips to gain extra ball speed. Extra ball speed. Obviously, naturally you need to increase your club speed. Yeah. Uh, so but that's you need that's to be careful. a progressive thing. If someone wants that like say one seventy five and then with a quick fix to get to one eighty. What would you say? In all honesty, yeah. Have a, have a look at what ball you're using, because yeah. the compression of the golf ball has a massive impact. You need to be consistent, and you need to be using the same golf ball every time. It sounds silly, but you know there's there's a significant you know, gap between, say, like a ninety, uh, like a seventy compression ball and a hundred and ten compression ball. Uh, yeah. There will be a a big jump up in speed. So you need yeah. to you need to be using let's say yeah there you go left dash. There so you know. first of all, yeah first of all use the right things, give yourself that advantage. Use good balls, use good clubs. Make sure your heads are not flat. Well, flat doesn't they still they can still be pretty fast if they're flat anyway. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But make sure you're using the right equipment. Make sure you're using the right balls. And in all honesty, if you if you feel like you're not getting the right ball speed out of your club speed, let's say you're 140 and you're not going near 210, you have an issue. So you need to see what's happening at impact and then work backwards. Find out why you're not doing that. You might be like me. You might be flicking it this way yeah. with no compression at all. So, yeah, find yeah, out the root a, cause. So that's your quick tip for extra, gain, extra ball speed. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so basically what I'd say to that, if someone asked me how can I gain speed quickly, it'd just be... Feel like you're going up and down, basically, in the swing. Extend on the way up and use ground force. Easiest way to gain speed quickly, isn't it? If, you have, if you're not doing it already. Um, yeah. Next one. Who's your favourite Scottish long driver? Have a guess who said that. Chris Lyon. Not actually whistled him, but that's a good shout. To be is, he, is he not the only Scottish long driver? Well, no, the other one just finished third. In oh, right. Yeah, yeah. How did I forget him? Yeah, so whenever Jim... I, that just... That just sounded like something Chris would say. Yeah, it must be yeah. Jimbo Tate. Yeah, so Jimbo's got he's got fast. Hey, so my favorite Scottish long driver, I'd probably say, is Chris Lyon. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's something you would um, say. Uh, J- Jimbo Tate's picked up some speed, hasn't he? Yeah, ridiculous, mate. What what did he top out? Has he gone two twenty nine point three? Yeah, pretty sure he went twenty nine. You know, on a dodgy monitor. Well, on the fly scope. If it, that's why I said to you when you did two twenty, do it on a track, man. No one can say shit. No, I'm joking. He, yeah, he cruises around like, north of two twenty. Anyway, he's a two he's he's two twenty five guy on track, man. All day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Um, dream four ball. Um, it doesn't have to be golfers. It can be like a football player, an icon of, of what, whatever. Tiger Woods. There he is. Look. Um. Is that yours as well? Denzel Washington. That's a good shout, yeah. I was going to say a, uh, a, a film that I, I'd love to say, but I can't say. <laughs> um, oh, my God, what is his name? Well, there's only one more because you're a part of it. So, Kevin Hart. Yeah. I find him hilarious, yeah. yeah that, I think he'd be good. really funny for the whole 18 holes. Yeah, that'd be pretty good, to be fair. Uh, who would mind you actually? Tiger, probably Ronaldo after that. And then 
probably go with like David Beckham because I grew up with him being my favourite football player. So probably them three, to be fair. Uh, next one. I don't know if you're going to if you'll answer this without getting in trouble. Who is your famous celebrity crush? <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'll we'll uh, pass my on that one. <laughs> I don't even I don't even think I have I have one. I think they all look, a lot of them look good. So did you have one when you were know. younger where you were just like I always liked yeah, Britney I'd... Spears when I was younger. Do you know when she was doing that um hit me baby one more time with you in that little school outfit? <laughs> I was only like 14 You're get at the time. In trouble here. I, I was only 14 at the time, so I was under age. She's older than me, but you look back at her. This now, video, is this video is getting banned straight away. <laughs> so she is awful now, so I want to go with her now. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I don't. I don't really have one to be honest. Too many no. to choose from. Clever answer. Clever answer. All right. You got any good um, questions here, or or what? No, not too many to be fair. Uh, what balls do you use on the indoor monitor? So it depends on I the monitor. Use... Obviously, if you uh, depends if it's a comp or if you're just pushing speed, isn't it? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm assuming they're talking about speed because that's what yeah. we do, isn't it? Well, that's what we try to do. So, I use anything with high compression, nobles, yeah. Pro V1X, left dashes. I would never speed train with something like a, an NXT Tour or something like that, even mm -hmm. though they're not that bad, they're still a good ball, but you're just not gonna, you're not gonna get the same compression. Uh, transfer as you would with a with a premium like left dash. Yeah, what about you? I'm trying to see if I have any no balls in there then, but I haven't. But most of the time, I'll just use probably one X left dashes because I just you're getting the same consistent number over and over. Problem I find with the no balls, yeah, they're way faster, but well, not way faster. They feel faster, but you can hit one absolutely nuke it, and it comes back like two or five, and you're like, that's way more than two or five. So I just yeah. don't think they're as consistent. Um, we'll finish on one more question and it's it's not it's just a top tip for juniors so we'll finish on a nice one for the youngsters that watch it top tip for juniors what are you saying swing learn to swing fast early on yeah There's a, a famous was it Seve uh, no it was Jack Nicholas I think that said that I, I'm sure am I wrong was it him who said? Oh, no idea. I've heard the saying. And then... I've heard the saying repeated, but I don't know who initially said it. Like. Maybe a few people have. I'm sure it's Jack Nicholas. Anyway, one of them long hit because Jack deceivingly was a really long hitter back in the day. Yeah, yeah. He's a big guy as well. Yeah. Um, learn well, to get the speed learn, first. To, learn to swing fast when you're younger, become an athlete, and focus about where it goes afterwards. Yeah, I think that goes back to now. Like, it's so how many times do you get? You know, if you put out a few stories of your swing or whatever, or if I do a live video, how many times do you get people that comment, how do you gain, like, I've been trying really hard to gain speed. It's the same stuff with, you know, when people do bodybuilding, it's like, I'm really yeah. trying to gain weight. You yeah. need to eat how many meals, like, it, it all goes back to the same thing, when they think they're working hard, but they're not really they're doing not. it. It's the same. Yeah, they've got to keep yeah. going. Push it even you need to swing going. faster. Yeah, if yeah. you if you want to go, if you want to cruise at 150, you need to be trying to swing in 160 to be, yeah. to bring your average up to 150, you yeah. need to be topping out at 160 yeah. or near that. Yeah. yeah, so basically become an athlete, don't worry about where it's going and just get as fast as possible when you're younger. It's, it's way more plan, fun as well, isn't it? It's way more fun as well, just smashing driver. Who wants to go and chip and put around the green? I do like golf. I kind of miss it. I, I, I don't I don't play anymore, but I, I do miss it. Like, there's nothing better than having an early tea time on the weekend and then a few beers after. It's just good fun. Yeah, I'll tell you that this weekend because I'm playing at 7.52 on the weekend on Saturday. So, I <laughs> don't know if that's oh, going to yeah. be very enjoyable, yeah. But, yeah, that's that. about it to start first episode of this, whatever we're going to call it, like we said, get in the comments, let us know if you have a name for it. <clears throat> and we'll think of yeah. something in the meantime. Um, get your questions down below as well that we can answer. And next time, we're going to try and do this every week, if we can. If we try. can. Try. Yeah, we'll try. If at worst, every two weeks. But if it goes well, we'll, we'll do it every week. We'll um, do it every week. If they give us, if, if you guys give us feedback and yeah. tell us some topics you want us to cover, we'll, we'll explain everything. Yeah, and we're gonna. Oh, who's there? It's Brucey there. I don't know what it must be. <laughs> Hang on.
Ah, oh, he is, little Brucey boy. Where is he? Where's he gone? There he is. You can see him. Hey, there we are. Hey, Brucey. <laughs> Fuck it, here's someone at the door there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway, so, cool. As James just said, give us your feedback. We'll do it. Next week, Jordan's going to join us, so there'll be someone else here as well, so we can bounce a few things off back and forth. Um, he won't watch this episode, so we need to Ooh. think of... Jordan won't watch this first one, I don't think. So if we can no. think of something now, that we we can, we have to think of something that only us know that he doesn't. So every time we say something, he's just like, what's going on? Do you know, it's something that he doesn't know. We'll think of something, and if you see Jordan getting a bit confused next week, you'll know why. But we'll think of something. But yeah, so uh, what are you going to do tonight? You doing anything nice? Cooking for the farm or what? Cook, cook the dinner now, and I've got some stuff. I told you buying a house, so yeah. got all the paper, got to send all the paperwork over and stuff. So. Yeah, but no, nothing exciting. What are you doing? I'm going to go to the gym now. That's why I've got the old monster ready. I don't know how you can train at this time, honestly. Like I yeah. used to do it, so I I understand yeah. how. But that's the only time really that I can, doing, I can yeah. train with the, the lad that I train with. So it's just easy to go in the evening. So a little leg yeah. session tonight. Get the old quads pumping. Little chicken legs. Yeah, the old chicken legs on the squat rack again. And uh, yeah, so that's it. It's the end of the first episode. Thanks, guys, for watching. See Do you later. Easy. Do the end. Come on, finish it off. What, what do I say? Whatever you want to say, mate. Tune in next week. See you later. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Oh, stop. I'm not saying that. <laughs> How do I leave this crap? All right. Don't invite me again. See you, right. later. See you later. Bye.